Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my video. So I'm here joined with Carl at his moon base, right? Correct. In Dubai, man. How are you doing? I'm doing very, very well. Welcome again to my office. Every week we go mm -hmm. and make some cool videos here. I think that's exactly. uh, very nice. I know. I love it. I love it. We always have fun. We do uh, TikToks as well and shorts and stuff like that. So yep. love that because we always we always joking and uh, uh -huh. having fun. Yeah. Especially, I, I, I love the one where I cut your, uh, yeah. <laughs> your hand to take your watch. <laughs> yeah. Da Vinci J15, you like Bitcoin. What do you think about my new crypto watch? I love it. I'm taking it right now. <laughs> 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 that scared me, bro. <laughs> I legit was scared. Of <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny video. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can check those out at our on um, Instagram. Uh, your Instagram is what? At the Moon Carl, or just search my mm -hmm. name, Carl Runefeld. There you go, and mine is at davinci j15 we could just put the links down below right? mm -hmm. exactly <laughs> okay so we're going to show us something very interesting that you haven't shown anybody about bitcoin exactly so right? the only place where i've posted this so far was twitter but i have not shown it on my youtube channel yet so this mm -hmm. is going to be the first time that mm -hmm. uh, people see this so basically here um Car from the moon. That's actually you are the first one who called me Car from the moon. Yes. And now I changed my Twitter name to Car from the moon. Because you know what? What's your name? Carl. And what's your chat? The moon. So are you from the moon? Carl yeah. from the moon. I'm Carl from the moon. <laughs> Completely right. Completely right. Guys, Da Vinci is a genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to show you this chart here. So first of all, now that we've been in a one year bear market, it's time for our three years of bull market. And I'm going to show you the evidence. Now, look at this. This is Bitcoin ever since 2010. So, so from the almost very beginning, from where Bitcoin was traded on exchanges, where we have price data for Bitcoin. And you can clearly see that Bitcoin is, is in these uh, four year cycles. And essentially, Ever since uh, 2013 here, where we've seen these bear markets, we've seen here, for example, a one-year bear market after a three-year bull market. And um, as soon as this one-year bear market was over, after this low there, the, the lowest point of the bear market, we saw a massive three-year bull market. Started slow, but ended with a bang. And here, a one-year bear market from the lowest point of the bear market a massive, massive bull market. Again, a little bit uh, choppy in the beginning, but ended with a bang here, of course. And exactly. here, on this one year bear market that we've seen now, because the bull market ended at 70K, and right now it's possible that we've seen the bottom already. I actually believe we've seen the bottom because we've already seen maximum fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I've never seen people be so fearful before. I mean, the amount of uh, uh, fear we've seen now is just mind blowing. We've seen Luna, Celsius, FTX, uh, different um, countries going against each other and uh, recession, blah, blah, blah. There's like never ending FUD all yes, the time. Yeah. Even Binance FUD, right? And FUD now is Gemini. And like the amount of negativity right now is just absolutely astronomical. I know. <laughs> and I've never seen so much shit posting on Twitter ever. Like if you look at like, Twitter and YouTube, like people are just blaming each other. People are are hating each other. Like, I don't know. Like, no, we didn't get that at thirty thousand. We yeah. didn't get that at twenty thousand. Yeah. we got that now. <laughs> so, so yeah, and that's usually we're seeing it. that marks the bottom usually. Mm -hmm. So it's very possible that we've seen the bottom already, which means that we can now look forward to a three year period of bull markets and. You tell me, Da Vinci, but like, I think this looks very compelling. And this is just something that I've, I've kind of always looked at. Uh, so it's not like a new revelation, but I just think that we should sometimes go back to what we initially um, found and realize that we haven't actually digressed from this yet. Like this is still all, it still holds true, mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. So even though there's so much negativity out there, this chart 
still is valid. The only thing that can invalidate this chart is if we keep going down for another like um, three, four months here to like maybe 10K. In that case, I would say this is not uh, valid anymore. But if we go sideways here for six months, well, then it's valid because that's exactly what we did back in 2015, 16. And even better, if we start going up here, it's it's completely valid. So, Da Vinci, what, what do you say about this? Yes, I agree. I mean, I think about uh, Jim Cramer coming out and saying, I wouldn't touch crypto in a million years. Yeah. I, I think about all the, the news articles that are posted about how you've lost money in crypto. Crypto's a Ponzi scheme. Crypto's dead. I mean, if you look at the obituary, Bitcoin obituaries, right? It's littered yeah, <laughs> with yeah. the hate right now. So and it's a clear signal of a bottom. Could we go lower? It is a possibility, but I think it's a it's lower possibility than us going higher. The only way we can go lower now, in my opinion, is if we see another massive FUD attack on Bitcoin. The only... Of like course, Binance going Binance down. Binance going down. They were all fucked. <laughs> We're not that. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. But we, we would for sure go lower. For sure we go lower. But I don't think that's going to happen. Mm. I, I mean, I know CZ. Like, I've met him multiple times. And from what I can tell, there's nothing shady going on. And so far, there's no proof of anything shady going on anywhere that I've seen. No. So anything against Binance now is just pure FUD without any base, in my opinion, unless there's any proof that I have not seen yet. I haven't seen any proof either. Yeah. But uh, other than me, like me, me being a little bit nervous when they shut down uh, Bitcoin withdrawals for six hours one time, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, uh, shortly after the, um, the, the Luna scandal, right? That was my, my only concern. I, I have a policy with exchanges in order to avoid losses mm -hmm. that if you shut down uh, Bitcoin or cash withdrawals without a preset maintenance schedule saying, hey, you know what, between this time and this time beforehand, we're going to be doing maintenance. I think there's something wrong there with the exchange and I have to like reduce my my exposure to the exchange as That's a, as a positive policy. That's the reasonable. reason why I have this policy is because I've seen it over and over again, right? Yeah. Once, like, for example, Quadriga X. The first thing they did was, was they, they suspended for a short while for no reason uh, withdrawals to cash. Once they did that, I was like, okay, I'm going to uh, buy up the Bitcoin and take it out. And that's what I did. So that's why I had no exposure to Quadriga X um, when, it, when it collapsed, even though, you know, I was, it was one of my major exchanges back then because I'm partly Canadian. And so, yeah, um, that's, that's a policy that's saved my butt many, many times. That's good. And uh, I think it's very important to keep your money on ledgers. Mm -hmm. um, I have multiple um, ledgers, Nano X, actually. I'm sure you have an affiliate link to them, maybe. Down the yes, way. check out the, my affiliate link. Because yeah. well. I, I always uh, put at least uh, some of my crypto there. And then I have some crypto on exchanges as well. But um, And actually, I, I, I lost money on exchanges before, so... I can tell you right now, guys, like uh, try to be safe out there. Um, put your money on the uh, ledgers. <clears throat> Only keep uh, enough on exchanges that you are willing to lose or trade with. You shouldn't put your whole life savings on an exchange. Exactly. That's, that's a very newbie mistake. Yeah, that's seriously dangerous, right? So don't do that. Especially right now. Maximum 5% in any exchange is what you should be depositing. And if you're going to deposit any into an exchange, make sure you deposit it into OKX or Bybit. Links are in the description below. Correct. And um, what about altcoins? Do you think there's going to be an altcoin season? Because I think yes. Definitely, definitely. If you watched my previous show, uh, I showed you lots of evidence of an altcoin season coming up very soon. Uh, yeah, make sure that you're in position because it's already started with the AI coins and the big data coins. That's just the beginning. There's going to be a lot of coins popping off. So make sure you get some, especially, especially the gaming, the game coins, mm -hmm. right? Such as, I don't know, there's there a coin that that's about, that's the uh, say gamify crypto somewhere around that, you know, that's pretty decent. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know this, this game. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where Da Vinci J15 is a major whale investor. 
<laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So yes, this is the this is the the future, right? Of crypto mm-hmm. is being because games. Uh, what's the gaming industry like? Okay, guys. So I'm gonna tell you about gaming. First of all, gaming is nine times bigger than the music industry in terms of revenue, yes. and it's three times bigger than the whole movie industry in terms of revenue. That is mind blowing. Most people don't understand this, no. but gaming is massive. <laughs> exactly. But, but but it makes sense also because when you watch a movie, you pay to watch the movie and then it's over. When you game, you usually you, you enter to play for free, but then you start buying stuff and you make a career in the game and eventually you spend hundreds of dollars maybe. You yes. can you cannot spend hundred dollars on a movie. Mm-hmm. Maximum a movie ticket is like what? Twenty dollars? Exactly. Thirty dollars? I don't even and, know. And it, <laughs> Right, like if you go to the VIP cinema here in Dubai, it will cost you like fifty dollars or like a hundred dollars maybe. Mm-hmm. But like that's maximum, maximum. Very few people pay mm-hmm. that. Gaming, that's recurring payments yes. and like big, big money. I know because I've played games where I just spent money on them nonstop. Yes, so exactly. It happens. Don't yes. think it doesn't happen. It yes. happens. And now, if you have gaming, which is a growing industry, massive industry, mm-hmm. and then you take crypto, which is also a massive growing industry well it's small but it's it's a massive growth mm-hmm. and then you combine them then together you're getting what i really do believe is a new multi trillion dollar economy in the world and i think that's what i am so excited about and that's what medieval empires is part part of being exactly. medieval empires is basically a um, a um, a um, a first mover in that new trillion dollar economy where it's free to enter and then you can build a career and you can own your assets and you can buy land and all of this and things. have fun that's, that's the key the most part important thing, yeah. <laughs> right to be entertained to and enjoy yes. right because life's hard right you need some time to relax <laughs> that's a nice mm-hmm. life's hard so go play medieval empires yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah and beat up beat up your neighbor yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, like um, I've never seen something so obvious mm. as crypto gaming before. That's mm-hmm. why mm-hmm. I'm uh, I'm loading up on a bunch of crypto gaming coins. Same here. I've invested in uh, in multiple uh, mm-hmm. crypto games uh, over the past actually two years. So I was way before many like I was before the hype. Then everyone started talking about it, uh, and of course, right now it's the the bear market. So. Uh, it's very like low competition and the valuations are very low, but that's the perfect opportunity to buy cheap. Yes. Actually, if you believe in something right now, now is the time to buy it, whether it's Bitcoin or altcoins or even some stocks because many stocks are down as well. So like mm-hmm. now is actually the time to to really double down on the things that you believe in long term. That's what I'm exactly, doing. Exactly. Exactly. And what the Federal Reserve going to be pivoting probably because they can't continue the raising the interest rates forever. Yeah. Man. This is going By to the way, see a lot flood of money coming in. And I think oh, uh, for sure. this is going to go everywhere. For sure. But you can buy the, the me token all, with your affiliate link. Exactly. Exactly. Check it out. And the links in the description below at uh, bybit.davinciej15.com. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right, so well, crypto gaming future, mm-hmm. Bitcoin. If, if Look, if what we talked about in this video is true, if Bitcoin is going into a three year bull market now, then that means massive altcoin season for the next three years exactly can you yes exactly and you're in a special spot here what if you invest let's just say you're too scared to invest in uh, altcoins right now mm-hmm. you can buy bitcoin today and within four years you'll probably see at least at least a 10x at least at least okay? for sure exactly now tell me can you invest in any kind of business Right? Do you know for sure that you can get a 10x? No. Mm-hmm. With a high probability of the 10x. Because we can't say for sure, right? But we have a high probability, right? Well, Don't with Bitcoin, think? it's an incredibly high probability, exactly. almost a certainty. Mm-hmm. But with any business, it's always a big risk because exactly. many things can happen, even just competition alone, right? But with Bitcoin, there is no competition. It's only Bitcoin. Exactly. So, buy Bitcoin. Right? <laughs> right? Load up. Exactly. Load up right now. All right. Buy as much as you can. Well, that's it for t- today. But that's not financial advice, by the way. <laughs> no, no financial <laughs> advice. But that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Right, Make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe, and head over to Carl's channel and uh, you know, like and subscribe there because I'm also on his channel. So make sure you watch the video. 
Yes, thank we, you for watching. We made this a one. very incredible video on my mm -hmm, channel. Mm -hmm. You should go watch it actually. All right, peace, people.